Hey, 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 this video is going to be a quick overview of the different uh, degrees of disease prevention. This is huge for like a public health uh, class or boards in general. Um, there are three degrees that we typically talk about, and I have those labeled up here. We're <clears throat> go over each one and, and uh, talk about uh, real life examples involving each one. So the first one is primary, you know, number one always comes first. And here we have our timeline with like the past, and this is like the future. So with the past, primary is going to occur first. And primary is something that we do uh, way before you ever have the chance of, of having a disease or being exposed to disease to try and prevent. I'm going to put, uh, yeah, prevent or P is the big thing for primary. We try to make the disease never happen in the first place. So what's a good example of this? Uh, a good example of this might be um, encouraging people to um, eat a lot of fiber, right, to prevent uh, diverticulosis, or uh, to get vaccinated when you're a child to try and avoid having these infectious disease. That's primary disease prevention. Um, secondary disease prevention is going to be all about detection. So we've already tried to prevent it, and now we said, hey, we did the best that we could to try and prevent diverticulosis or to prevent... Uh, colon cancer to prevent infectious disease, but now we need to detect it. And I'm, I'm going to put this huge blue box here along the timeline as secondary, because we do not know when the disease is going to occur. We know when we're going to give the vaccination, but we don't know when you're going to get that infectious disease. Or we know we're going to give you the, the, you know, the fiber, but we don't know when you're actually going to develop diverticulosis. However, in the secondary time, we're going to do things to try and determine if you have the disease. And so a good example of secondary prevention is a colonoscopy because we've already done all the right things trying to prepare, trying to avoid, you know, certain allergens or exposures or uh, behaviors, that sort of thing uh, for diverticulosis or colon cancer or whatever. But now there's still a chance you're going to get it. So we're going to do detection with secondary disease prevention. Now tertiary or the third one here, is somewhere further down the line. So this is, you have the disease, right? Let's say, you, you know, you, uh, you did all the right steps, you ate all the fiber, you drank a ton of water, and you still developed diverticulosis, and we picked it up. Let's say you developed it right here, and we picked it up with a colonoscopy, and so now you have diverticulosis, and it's like, what do we do now? I mean, now, you know, you have it. Do we still try and do any sort of disease prevention? Yes, we do. And that's, the last thing here is R, or reduce. So these are the three different levels. We try and prevent a disease from happening. We try and detect it so we know when it does occur. And that helps with the third level here, which is the reduction of its extent or uh, you know, the reduction of its effects. So with diverticulosis, that might be things like um, maybe, maybe removing the affected part of the colon or um, maybe monitoring it with more frequent colonoscopies to see if it's developing any sort of abscess or uh, if the outpatchings are getting bigger. Whatever it is, these are the three different levels of disease prevention. Uh, very important for public health. Yup.